Welcome back to the Tactical Muffin Top channel, everybody. This is Tactical Muffin Top and R. And uh, we got we're gonna try a, um, a uh, an organic garden here, guys, because in SHTF you're not gonna be able to buy um, pesticides, right? So we're gonna try and fight it with bugs. Gonna keep the good bugs are gonna keep the bad bugs out. So we're gonna let R talk a little bit about it here. But, uh, we're trying to rearrange these here, but. Uh... Yeah, this is uh, from a site called Nature's Good Guys. They sell all sorts of, not just these, they sell different types of uh, beneficial insects. I got here, I already dumped them out onto my plum trees, since my plum trees are in bloom right now. I got ladybugs, should be uh, 150 ladybugs per pouch. It's like three bit, three muffins. Three, muff, very, three, three muffins for, for ladybugs, Yeah, about guys. 350. Extra 50 cents for the uh, nectar that you mix in with water. You spray it all over your plants to get them a little bit of something to get them going. Uh, and we got praying mantises. These are the little cups you can get. It's like an extra 50 cent, 50 a piece, 50, 50 muffins, point, point 50 muffins, point 50 muffins, half tiny muffin. muffins. It's a half a muffin, breakfast muffins, if you will. But uh, it is just a little egg pod, is what these are. If you ever see these around, this is a praying mantis egg pod. They also can kind of look like a little tiny caterpillar. Save them, keep them alive, guys. Prairie mantis are good for your garden. But yeah, well, uh, the, yeah. It's, so basically, they just come with this, and they hatch in here. You can dump them out. There you go. Little sticker tells you uh, storage, how to hatch them, how to care for them, yeah, kind of deal. Yeah, this is uh, this oh. is the ladybugs. One of these around here is the whole thing for you get the, a oh, yeah, catalog. The whole thing for the praying mantises the whole literature on how to take care of them something else we're probably going to get in on is these uh, mason bees yeah this is something i've i have i think i've heard before but i haven't done too much research on them but apparently they're just a pollinator to help pollinate your your stuff they don't sting you yeah we're, we're basically trying to get on the micro homesteading guys so this is uh okay. This is how you do it without okay. chemicals. I'm assuming you can get up the. I'm assuming they sell a little uh, box from their site, and well, you cool. just hang it and forget it, and then you'll have just pollinators right there. Yeah. I get one from my yard, from my from a plum tree. Yeah, we're there. gonna we're yeah. gonna probably drop this in the uh, the tactical muffin stop uh, Amazon store for all this kind of stuff for uh, for like organic homesteading and stuff like that, guys. We're we're making the jump. Uh, our food storage is sufficient now. We're working on sustaining forever. So. Uh, how to do that is you practice now while well, we're on easy mode as Duke would say because in it, when it's hard mode is not when you start to learn how to garden and everything like that you gotta this is an accumulative skill and you got you learn constantly so yeah so hopefully some of these guys stay around and then we can yeah. save their egg pods and kind of keep them keep them dry over the winter and then throw them back out yeah try and take care of them so we can do it again next year but uh, this is tactical muffin top and R. out for now